Welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is Rotate Image. So in this question, we are given a matrix. So in this question, we are given an n by n 2D matrix representing an image and we need to display the output by rotating the image by 90 degrees clockwise. And the condition given is that we have to do it in place and do not allocate another 2D matrix to do the rotation. So let's see how this question can be solved and identify a pattern like how we can generate the output from the input image given. So let's take the same example they have given us. We are given the input array and we have to get this output array. So we have to turn this input array 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. So we'll get the output array. So to form this output, first you have to perform the transpose of the original matrix. So if you perform transpose on the input matrix, you have to interchange every column with its row. So the elements inside this row are 1, 2, 3. We have to make it the first column inside this. So those row elements are now displayed as columns. Let's do the same for the second row. The second row will become the second column. Let's do the same for the third row. That will become the third column. Now we found out the transpose of the input matrix. You can find little similarity between this and the output array. So if you see this transpose, the elements are displayed from right to left. So for example here, the elements are displayed as 1, 4 and 7 and here they are displayed as 7, 4 and 1. So it means that and rest of the elements are also following the same trend. So it means that we have to reverse each row inside this transpose matrix. So the next step is to perform reverse operation on every row. So this 1, 4, 7 is the first row. This will be displayed as 7, 4 and 1. Let's take the second row. This will be displayed as 8, 5 and 2. This is the third row. This will be displayed as 9, 6 and 3. And these two are same. So we now have the output matrix. So let's perform these two steps using a Java program. So now that we have seen the steps how to get the output, let us code it up. So here we are given a method called rotate and we are given the input matrix on which we have to do the operations. So let's do it by following the steps I've shown you. First, we have to write a method to transpose the matrix. So let us create a method transpose matrix and pass the input matrix here. And the second step was to reverse each row in the transposed matrix. So let us create another method and call it here. So I'm going to call this method as reverse rows and pass the input matrix. So now that we have called the two steps and there's no need to return anything because the return type is void. So first we are going to transpose the matrix and then on the transpose matrix we are going to reverse the rows. Now that we have called the two functions here, let us define the functions transpose matrix and reverse rows. The return type is going to be void. And we also need to pass the input matrix on which we are going to perform the operations and the second method is going to be also of return type void and it's called reverse rows and again pass the input matrix on which this method will be working on. Now let us write the code to transpose the matrix. To transpose the matrix we need two for loops. The outer loop will be denoting the rows and the inner loop will be denoting the columns. So for int equal to 0 is less than matrix dot length so the inner loop j is going to start from 0 and go on until it is equal to i now let us transpose the element at the row with the element at the column so i'll use a temp variable to swap the two target elements so in temp which is initially pointing at the element at the row matrix of i j and now we need to swap it matrix of so this is pointing at the row and swap it with the element pointing at the column matrix of j i and now matrix of j i will be pointing at temp so with this we are going to swap the elements and 
finally this will happen for all the elements and we'll get the transpose of the input matrix now we have to write the function to reverse the rows for that let us iterate through the matrix using a for loop so this will be uh, indicating the rows the i variable so to reverse the rows again i'm going to use a temp variable for that first i need to find out the leftmost element inside that row so here it is going to be 7 and the rightmost element for this row is going to be i so two pointers will be pointing at the leftmost element and the rightmost element so the left pointer i'm going to point it at the index position 0 and the right pointer i'm going to point it at the end of the matrix now we have the two pointers pointing at the index positions left at 0 and right at the end and now using a while loop until left is less than right this while loop will run so while left less than right now again using a temp variable i'm going to swap the elements so n temp is equal to matrix of i and left now swap the matrix element at left with the element pointing at the pointer right so i is going to denote the row number so row 0 leftmost element swapping it with the row 0 rightmost element and now matrix of right is pointing at temp so with this we are swapping the elements pointing at left pointer and right pointer until left is less than right and now for the next iteration i'm going to move the left pointer one step to the right and move the right pointer one step to the left so this while loop will run until left is less than right and finally this method will reverse the rows after we have performed the matrix because first the matrix is being transposed we are calling this function and then after that on the transposed matrix we are going to perform reverse rows so now let's try to run it there you have it our solution has been accepted let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is of n square and the space complexity is constant because we did not allocate a new matrix to do the operations so it will be o of one that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one